Welcome to the No Fly Zone 10 TSA Secrets They Don't Want You to Know. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel where we delve into the murky, often nonsensical world of, well, pretty much everything. And today, we're strapping ourselves in for a turbulent ride through the wonderful world of the TSA. Look, no one the security line at the airport. It's a necessary evil, like a prostate exam or listening to Nickelback. We tolerate it because we have to. But have you ever wondered what goes on behind those scanners? What secrets are those eagle-eyed agents keeping from us? Well, wonder no more. Hit that subscribe button, buckle up, and let's unpack 10 TSA secrets they don't want you to know. TSA PreCheck your ticket to a faster security line? Let's be honest, the only thing better than breezing through security while others wait is judging them as you do it. And that, my friends, is the seductive promise of TSA PreCheck. But is it really worth it? Imagine this, a world where you don't have to perform the ritualistic disrobing of shoes, belts, and dignity. PreCheck offers a glimpse into a utopian airport experience. But sometimes that PreCheck line, it moves slower than a snail in a snowstorm. Random screening, how random is it really? We've all been there, you're strolling through security, feeling smug with your slip-on shoes, when suddenly, BAM, random screening. But here's the thing about random, it's about as genuine as a reality TV show. The TSA uses various factors to determine who gets the random pat-down. Ever notice those little letters and numbers on your boarding pass? They tell the TSA how randomly to screen you. And let's not forget the behavioral detection officers, so next time you get flagged, it might not be so random after all. Behavioral detection mind games or security theater? Ah, behavioral detection, the TSA's foray into the world of mind reading, or at least that's what they'd like us to believe. This controversial program relies on officers trained to detect suspicious behavior, which, as we all know, is a foolproof science, except it's not. Critics argue that behavioral detection is nothing more than pseudoscience, relying on subjective observations and stereotypes. Because apparently looking nervous in an airport is a surefire sign of terrorism, not just a symptom of having to navigate a crowded space filled with overpriced snacks. And the effectiveness of this program? Well, let's just say the jury is still out. And by jury, I mean a bunch of pigeons wearing tiny powdered wigs. But hey, at least it gives us something to talk about while we're waiting in those endlessly long security lines. Chapter 4. Prohibited Items, You Won't Believe What They Tried to Sneak Through We all know the drill, no liquids over 3.4 ounces, no sharp objects, no bringing your emotional baggage through security. But the list of prohibited items goes far beyond the basics and some of them, well, they're just plain bizarre. For example, did you know that you can't bring a gas-powered chainsaw on a plane? Shocking, I know. And while you might think that's common sense, apparently, it wasn't for the person who tried to bring a jar of peanut butter filled with bullets through security. Yes, you heard that right, peanut butter. And bullets, together. It's like someone took two perfectly good snacks and turned them into a recipe for disaster. But the real head-scratcher? Realistic replicas of explosives, because nothing says I'm just trying to catch a flight like carrying around a fake bomb. Chapter 5. TSA's Budget where does all that money go? The TSA, an organization known for its efficiency and effectiveness. Oh wait, that's not right. The TSA, an organization with a budget larger than some small countries, has been criticized for its spending habits. I mean, we're talking about billions of dollars here, folks, billions. And what do we have to show for it? Long lines, invasive pat-downs, and the occasional confiscated bottle of shampoo. So where does all that money go? Well, some of it goes towards fancy new technology, like those body scanners that can see through your clothes, which, you know, is great if you're into that sort of thing. But a lot of it also goes towards things like, well, let's just say there have been some questionable expenses over the years. Chapter 6, TSA's Failures, When Security Goes Wrong The TSA, despite its best efforts, isn't exactly known for its flawless track record. In fact, there have been some pretty notable security breaches over the years that would make even the most trusting traveler a little uneasy. Like that time when a man successfully snuck a box cutter onto a plane. A box cutter, you know, the very thing that led to increased airport security in the first place? Or how about the time when a loaded gun was found in a TSA agent's bag? Because apparently, even the people in charge of security forget the rules sometimes. 
These incidents, and others like them, raise serious questions about the effectiveness of the TSA's security measures. Chapter 7. TSA's Technology High-Tech Security or Expensive Toys The TSA loves its gadgets. From body scanners to explosive detection machines, they've got it all. But the question is, does all this fancy technology actually make us safer? Well, that's debatable. Some experts argue that the TSA relies too heavily on technology which can be expensive, unreliable, and easily fooled. Remember those full-body scanners that were supposed to revolutionize airport security? Yeah, it turns out they weren't so great at detecting explosives after all. But hey, at least they gave us a good laugh, right? Chapter 8. TSA's Training Are they really prepared for anything? So you want to be a TSA agent? Great, just make sure you're prepared for long hours, low pay, and the constant threat of being subjected to a viral video. But seriously, the training process for TSA agents is no walk in the park. They have to undergo rigorous background checks, physical exams, and weeks of classroom instruction. But is it enough? Critics argue that the TSA's training program is inadequate, leaving agents ill-equipped to handle the complex and ever-changing threats facing our nation's airports. Chapter 9. TSA's K-9 Units Man's Best Friend or Security Prop? Who doesn't love dogs? They're furry, they're friendly, and they're surprisingly good at sniffing out explosives. That's why the TSA has deployed K-9 units to airports across the country. But are these four-legged officers really all they're cracked up to be? While there's no denying the effectiveness of dogs in detecting explosives, some argue that their presence is more about security theater than actual security. After all, how often do you really hear about TSA dogs catching terrorists? Chapter 10, TSA's Future. What's in store for the agency? The TSA is at a crossroads. Faced with mounting criticism, budget constraints, and the ever-present threat of terrorism, the agency is looking for ways to improve its image and its effectiveness. But what does the future hold for the TSA? Some experts believe that the agency needs to focus on intelligence gathering and risk-based security measures, rather than relying on outdated and ineffective methods. Others argue that the TSA should be abolished altogether, with airport security being privatized or handed over to local law enforcement. Only time will tell what the future holds for the TSA. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be an interesting ride. Outro thanks for flying with us, so there you have it folks, 10 TSA secrets they'd rather you not think about too hard. But hey, at least we can all bond over the shared experience of being poked, prodded, and generally inconvenienced in the name of security. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the often absurd world of airport security, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insightful and slightly unhinged content. And remember, the next time you're standing in that endless security line, just take a deep breath, embrace the absurdity, and try not to make eye contact with the behavioral detection officer.